this ends in game three or game five, I think we're going to be seeing Sonic and Fox the whole way through. I wouldn't be surprised to see every game on Battlefield. I've seen it before from these players to see every game on Battlefield. Absolutely, yes. Uh, so players are just striking their stages now. Uh, All right. Um, so yeah, um, well, it looks like we're going to start off Final Destination. Something so completely unexpected. This is definitely not what we called. Um, and this is this a be best of this three set, too. Yeah, ab <laughs> this is not a typical set you'll see of uh, these guys that, to be in this position of the tournament, not playing in a best of five. So. Yeah. All right, and these good up tilts coming in from Groovy rack up some early percent. Goes for the perfect pivot up tilt, but it doesn't. Or sorry, perfect pivot up tilt, but it does not connect. And so Groovy is uh, definitely a very aggressive Fox player. He just he loves to just run straight into the fray. You want in the right? you're in now. Um, so yeah, the, um, sorry, I was distracted for a moment there, but, uh, this, uh, matchup here on FD, like, I feel like it's, it's gonna be largely, like, uh, like, Fox is gonna have a hard time killing off the top, so it's largely gonna be based on who can get the, to the high percents and really convert first. Yeah. So we see there, like, on most stages, that would have been killed, but he got it. Uh, he didn't get it on one. the second up air. And the other thing, too, is that uh, Groovy's been really utilizing that fair footstool lately, and that's going to be a big factor in the Cloud matchup, with Cloud's already sub-power recovery outside of limits. Absolutely. Uh, like, uh, and the big thing, too, is, like, Cloud is very vulnerable to the footstool, uh, the, the, sorry, the forward air footstool combos, yep. if caught at the wrong point. So, um, Rob could, uh, or sorry, Groovy could definitely end this on a dawn. Uh, the Knicks definitely having to seal this stock out very quickly. A good angle from Groovy, getting straight to the to the ledge, avoiding whatever the Knicks would throw out from him. That Nair is going to put him in a bad position. Oh. Side B gets intercepted by the F air, but uh, the Knicks has to expend limit in order to get back to stage. Uh, which honestly is fine when you consider that like he was he was behind the stock. He needed to shave yeah, that off. Yeah, he, he needed he needed to get in, to get down there. But uh, Groovy already putting some good percent back into this as he comes down. A little bit of an unsafe uh, F tilt there from the Knicks, uh, getting grabbed for it. Oh, and calling out that jump with the up air. Oh, air dodged, but uh, didn't uh, didn't up air him for it. He actually opted to nair instead. He tried to go for the up smash afterwards and did not land it. That second F sm or up smash on shield gets punished by the limit cross slash. Now he just side bees in. Tries to get something going. Forward throw for stage positioning. Oh, Gets oh. the two-frame F tilt. Okay, he oh, had there, Dodger. But the up smash is going to take it. So many traps in that. Oh, my it God. That was there. like... Remember Mousetrap, the board game? <laughs> yeah. That's what we just watched. We just watched Fox Trap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the entire community. Um, but no, uh, Groovy just like putting out so many hitboxes just cover everything the Knicks could possibly do in yeah, this situation. Yeah, the back air when the Knicks uh, air dodge, he caught him with an up tilt um, on the landing, and then he went for the up air and air dodge, and instead of going for another up tilt, uh, the Knicks actually trying to go for the ledge, and uh, Groovy recognizing that and up smashing him for it. Yep, and so we're going to Dreamland for this game number two. Uh, interesting pick. Obviously, the triplats definitely benefit uh, Cloud, and as it's low ceiling, but we also need to remember that uh, Groovy d also really likes the triplats for Fox, and he both of his kills from the last game were off the top. Absolutely. So like th this this stage definitely benefiting Fox a lot, but it g also gives uh, Cloud a bit of room to move around, charge limit. Yeah, it definitely plays in as a, kind of a double-edged sword, really. All right. Groovy's really good at getting these. Uh, fast uh, side bees in to try and approach and get out of to, to go in and go out of situations definitely a questionable side be there uh, and yeah, I, 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 a I, 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 I saw that coming but uh, I don't think groovy had much else other options I think his jump was gone so. no it, it was he he had to side be into upbeat and the Knicks fully aware of that punishes and takes stock and uh, interesting that he opted for the cross slash too instead of neutral beam because uh, Groovy could have actually shine stalled had he tried to just neutral beam. Yeah. Or... Uh, 
All right, there's really good movement uh, coming through from both players right now. Uh, Groovy throwing in a lot of perfect pivots to get these tilts out. And that backer is going to give the Knicks the limit that he uses to recover. But that, that's actually uh, a good situation there for uh, Groovy, for the limit to come out at that time and him having to burn it immediately. But uh, the Knicks just kind of controlling the center of the stage here, making it really hard for Groovy to get back. Groovy finally gets back and puts the Knicks up. That back air could take this stock. It does yeah, indeed. It does. So 64%, not a horrible deficit, but definitely one to make up. But Fox can do it pretty quick with the right combo. Yeah, but at the same time, I mean, the fact of the matter is he has to get in. And he, he didn't earn that 64, 72 now percent over nothing. Absolutely. Just, just going to land and grab him there. Uh, looked like uh, the Knicks went for a trump there, but way early and gets trumped himself. And this is the second time now that both hits of Clouds Up B have connected on Groovy. Uh, which is really interesting because any time I've seen Groovy usually playing against uh, Clouds, he usually texts that second hit. Yeah. And punishes Cloud as a result. Well, I thought we were going to see a limit cross slash there on the roll get up, uh, but uh, the Knicks not biting it. Oh, going for Ooh. the up B uh, out of shield there, but uh, Groovy actually opted, moved way through his shield that time. Oh, there's the there's the ledge trump, but no punish. All right, and the Knicks back on the ledge, but is able to make it back in, only taking a nair for his troubles. All right, good shield from Groovy, not getting, not letting that second hit of up B connect. Well, that down smash uh, just a little bit off the distance where Groovy was going to land with the side B. Right, oh. and there's the down throw. Are we going to see any follow up? Not quite. Oh, that's that's dangerous for uh, the Knicks there. Oh, Ooh. does not get cross slash then, like I was expecting. All right, and there's the limit blade beam. Try to mix him up. Oh, oh but that fair is going to take it. Nice retreating fair to catch Groovy coming out of shield. All right, so we're going into game three, and this game, this game will decide who gets their lowest placement at a major. Yeah, this is huge. Def definitely, definitely a huge game here. So the battlefield is the call. We're going back to triplets once again, uh, but. I, I feel like this might benefit the Knicks a bit more as we saw just then the Knicks was mostly killing off the sod for the most part. His second stock came off of uh, a Ford air. He was, but, but at the same time, uh, Groovy was really bringing that second was really bringing that second game back towards the end of it. Absolutely, so, but he's, he's going to have a harder time killing now. He definitely will, but uh, I think that it seems like he's made some uh, some good adjustments for this tri platform setup. And a nice grab off that up tilt Ooh, there. And a good rare fair to catch the Knicks on his DI. <laughs> really interesting follow-up option, and he just keeps following oh. it up. He went for it all on that one. Had the Knicks air dodge, that would have been uh, very bad for him, but the Knicks uh, not one to air do let his air dodges come out easy. Oh, and, that oh, and there's a Sakurai getting into it. He's he he really wants feeling it. himself. He's feeling himself right now. He wants the he wants the B. All right, and that side B, that unsafe side B into the center stage is gonna get punished with a cross slash. Oh, it cuts off the up smash uh, attempt there from Groovy like, with the come down. Groovy missed timing actually a little bit there. Oh, oh but that drill and up smash is gonna take it. This time, uh, this time we say Groovy sitting at sixty four percent, but he's on the winning side. Absolutely, yes. All right, and there's another good cross slash coming to uh, just get some percent and get some stage positioning. And Groovy's racking up already 20% through from dash attack and rapid jab. Gonna up the uh, out of uh, out of that there to get himself away. And Groovy just not teching these up bees, which is very uncharacteristic of him, honestly. Yeah, I think there's definitely. I mean, I don't want to speak for the players, but there's definitely some nerves coming in. Is he gonna do it? Oh! oh he didn't believe. He did. He didn't, he didn't believe. believe in himself. That would have been game. That would have been the highlight reel. That would have been EMG's like plays of the week. Oh, no! 
But he didn't believe... He didn't believe in himself after having failed it twice before. But good up the out of shields. He's gonna, gonna even up the stocks, but definitely a huge percent lead in Groovy's favor. And he's really... He's really doing a good job of playing this aggressive game and not really taking heavy punishes. Only one hit of that up air uh, managing to connect. Oh, this is tense. Absolutely, and, and this is this. Oh, oh. that's not. The, okay. <laughs> oh my god. All these attacks just flying out. None of them connecting properly. I can't breathe, my dude. I can't breathe right now. Good, what, Blade Beam. Oh, and is that gonna take it? Not, not quite, quite. Not off the top. Hot. If this had been Dreamland, who knows? But that back is gonna force uh, the Knicks to use his limit. Uh, doesn't get the two frame on the up tilt, but now he's off stage. Oh, the, the retreating forward air again. Uh... Calling him out of shield. A little bit of DBZ, DBZ uh, hits there going. Little trade, but definitely in Groovy's favor as he's still able to make it back to stage. Will he get the up tilt? He does. No up air follow up. Oh my gosh, and the Knicks able to use the second hit of up B again, and that back air is gonna do, do it. it. What Huge a comeback. comeback. Huge comeback from the Knicks. And that is where the Knicks is so scary. He is when he's down and behind, he just clutches it out. The Knicks has that clutch factor, you know? Oh my god. And you know what? There was 